Hi, I'm Mike. Tank top tips, Mike, because it's like a hundred thousand degrees in here right now. I basically feel like I'm on the planet Mustafar from Star Wars. But anyway, welcome back to episode number seven of my Pokemon Heart Gold Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time we beat our rival YouTube, we ran through the Ilex Forest and we made it to Goldenrod City, the biggest town in all of Johto. And today we're going to explore even more of this city. There's really so much to do here. So many cool buildings, so many places to go, and of course the third gym with the gym leader, Whitney. And also, once again, we're playing at night since last time we had a very good episode of playing at night. Nobody died, so maybe if I play at night, maybe that's the trick. If it's dark, maybe the Pokemon just can't kill me. So with that being said, let's actually leave Goldenrod real quickly. I know, shocker. But let's go over here and wait a second. Wait a second. I was gonna go on this route over here. I believe it's Route 34 or Route 35. No, it's Route 35. I was gonna go on Route 35 and in the grass there's a Pokemon we can catch. But if I remember correctly, this guy over here, he'll give me what's normally a Spearow to use on the team. Now, I don't know what I want to do here. Do I chance it and just get this guy's Pokemon? Or do I go outside and catch something? Because I believe I believe this area right here, let me see if it says, yes, this area right here would be considered Route 35, so if I take his Pokemon and use it, then technically that would be my encounter. So you know what, let's just go out here, we'll go to the grass, and we'll see what kind of Pokemon we could catch out here, and then later on we'll go back to him and get whatever Pokemon he wanted to give us, and then I'll know if I made the right choice or not. But, oh, okay, we could just sneak right past that trainer. Cool, we could sneak right past this one too, I feel like I'm basically cheating right now. Oh no, this guy caught me. This person said, nope, you're not going to be able to go through Route 35 without battling somebody. I've been getting good Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. Well, let's see how good the radio really makes you. It reminds me of that hot year or so I was a radio DJ back in college. That was kind of fun. Okay, so he's leading off with a giraffe rig. Only at level 11, though. We have two levels on this thing, which is pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. Again, the levels in this game are so weird. What? Wait, what are you going for? I think that's Razor Winds. I think that might be Razor Winds. I never see that move used ever, so forgive me if that's not Razor Winds, but I know Razor Wind is a move that takes up like basically the whole entire turn, but that seems about right to me. And the cool thing is, Razor Wind, for some odd reason, even though it has wind in the name, it's a normal type move, so we shouldn't be. Yes, okay, it is Razor Wind, called that correctly, but it's a normal type move, so we're not gonna take super effective damage from that, so we're all good to finish this thing off with Zuko. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, nice, critical hit. Don't think we needed it, but it's always nice starting things off with the critical hit. I remember we did that last time too, and we get 351 experience points. Hopefully Zuko picks up a fire type move soon. I love the all fighting type moves that it has right now. Hopip! Aww! I love the all fighting type move set right now, but this isn't gonna do us too well against a Hopip. Kind of nonsense is this right now. I have to switch out of Zuko when I'm battling against a Hopip because maybe that hop will have like Aerial Blast or something. Ooh, it's got Pluck. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to take a Pluck. I really don't think we were in any danger from a Pluck from a hop hip, even if it's a super effective move, but I don't want to find out. And you know what? Let's go for the Icy Wind here. It should be double super effective against this thing. Although Cross Poison, I feel like it might do a little bit more damage overall just because Haru's physical attack is higher, but doesn't matter. We get the nice clean KO. Wonderful, wonderful. And that XP is so low, so low. And another Lombre. Didn't YouTube have one of these last time, and didn't we finish it off with Haru? Well, deja vu. Get out of here, Lombre. Oh my goodness, those crits, so good, so good. And just barely missing leveling up to 21. Oh, that guy gives up. Well, you shouldn't have challenged me, that's your fault. All right, oh, huh? Oh, he's a spinner. I thought he was only gonna look in that other direction. Behold my dexterity and grace. Well, you seem pretty dexterous to me. That's a word, right? Dexterous? I hope so. Dexterous? I don't know. Well, he seems pretty good, because he was able to- What in the world is that? A level 2 Psyduck? Why are you not on, like, Route 29? Why are you here? Why do you have a level 2 Psyduck? Buddy! Buddy, do you want to talk about something? Why do you have a level 2 Psyduck? And then he's a level 15 Pidgey! Man, these games are weird. These games are so weird. I think in the original game, this guy is a team full of Voltorb, if I remember correctly, but even then, the levels are so bizarre to me. Why do you have a level 2 Pokemon? We honestly could have our third gym badge right now, and you'd lead off with a level 2 Pokemon. Although, if you think about it, it can be more realistic that way. If he has a level 2 Pokemon, it's like he just caught it in the grass, and he's instantly using it right away in a battle. Ooh, need arena. Buddy, you need some stronger Pokemon. Level 7. This is embarrassing. 
I feel bad taking out all of his Pokemon over here, and Volbeat's at level 11. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, down you go. Whew, that was a jolt. Huh, was that because I finished you off with Spark? That would be kind of funny. Alright, I'm gonna turn off the running shoes here, because I really just want to go get the new Pokemon. I know this guy is also a spinner. Turn the other way, turn the other way. Stop looking at that wall. My guy's got the laser... <gasps> I turned off the shoes and everything for you, and you still catch me! Practicing your fire breathing. I'll show you some fire breathing. Oh wait, I can't, because Zuko doesn't have any fire type moves. Oh, and we're definitely have to switch. Staravia and the Intimidate. That's not gonna be a good time for us at all. But I think Toph would actually have pretty good time with this Staravia. Let's go Toph! Yeah, it's got the wing attack. Pretty standard Staravia move, honestly. Let's go for Spark. It's always nice outspeeding the bird boys. Okay, and down goes the Staravia, and Zuko's getting level 15, no, no new moves yet. And Raichu is the second Pokemon. Ooh, look at that bad boy, Shadow Raichu! Last episode we saw Shadow Lugia, and now we're seeing Shadow Raichu. That looks so cool. I love that sprite so much. Look at Shadow Raichu. It looks way too happy to be an evil Shadow Pokemon. You know what? Maybe it's just a little misguided. Maybe we can use confusion and show this thing the way. Ooh, it has Spark. We have Spark too. See, we're already buddies. Haha, <laughs> that looks so, so cool. Alright, Toph, snap this thing out of this confusion. Let's purify this Raichu over here. Critical hit, nice! I definitely think, in this randomizer so far, I've gotten more critical hits in this whole randomized run than I have any other time ever. And wow, that spark did a lot more than I was expecting it to. That's not gonna be too fun. Oh, and it's gonna live in the red zone. Alright, I don't think we're at a risk of dying here, but I'm gonna Super Potion just in case. We don't want to lose our starter here if this thing happens to get a critical hit on us. So let's just go, let's Super Potion, get back to 55 HP. We have five of those things on us. Giga Impact! Giga Impact! <laughs> okay, Giga Impact from the Shadow Raichu. Alright, well, we definitely didn't need to use that Super Potion. That Giga Impact is a meme move right there when you use it on top, but... I'd rather be safe than sorry. And nice, getting to level 21 off of that thing. Fire Breather Walt defeated. And nice, decent amount of money too. Wow, and it looks like there's another trainer we're gonna have to fight up there, another policeman since we're playing at night. Now I'm kind of regretting this, I wish I played during the daytime, because I just want to get to that grass and catch a Pokemon already. But, let's do it. Let's just do- oh. Oh? Oh, we can just walk right past you? Do I need to be, like, directly in front of this guy to battle him? Well, let's not find out. Let's go get ourselves a brand new Pokemon. Probably should have put the running shoes back on, but let's go ahead and do it. Ooh, and wait, we're hearing the Kanto theme! I think we're running into a legendary, guys! What is it? Latios! Latios! A wild Latios appeared! Oh, that's so good! That's so awesome! But wait a second, it's not gonna run away from me, is it? The best Pokeball that I have for this thing is going to be the Fastball, even though that only has like a 1% catch rate right now. So let's try it. I don't know if it's still gonna have that property where it tries to run away from me, but we at least want to try. I don't want to attack this thing, have it run away, and not even say that I threw a Pokeball at it. And no, we're not gonna get a single shake at all. Is it gonna attack me, or is it gonna flee? No, okay, good. It's gonna attack me. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. As long as it stays in the battle, that's cool with me. Alright, in that case, it means it's time to swap out, because I don't want Zuko to take a Psychic-type move from this thing. It's got Dragon Breath and Twister. Alright, this thing is definitely a lot more dragon-oriented. But now it's time to lower this thing's HP, so let's start going for the False Swipe. I am scared of this Latios, because this thing's doing a lot of damage to me so far. Let's see how much this Mist Ball does. Please don't do too much. Please don't do too much. We've got... Nine levels on you, but oh no, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. And you know what? We're probably gonna end up burning that berry that boosts my special attack here, since our HP is definitely gonna get low. I don't really care about that berry too much, but it's gonna be a waste. It's gonna be a waste. Actually, maybe I could save it if I use a Super Potion right now to heal up Sokka. But Super Potion will heal up Sokka. It's gonna go for Twister. It's gonna do a lot of damage to me, but I think if we go for one more full swipe, we will be able to get this thing down to 1 HP. Alright, Sokka. Let's get him down to one. No, that looks like a little bit more than one HP to me. That's annoying. Mistball does a lot of damage, but let's get him down to one. Let's get him down to one. Yep, there we go. 
All right, now we gotta take another mist ball. Please don't crit and kill me. Don't crit and kill me. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Getting down to 13, and yeah, there goes our berry. Wasted berry, that's okay. That's all right. If we catch the Latios, it's all worth it. So in that case, let's switch into Toph. Toph can resist the dragon type moves that it seems to have a bunch of right now. And we just gotta hope from here. We just gotta hope that we can actually catch this thing. I am so glad that I stocked up last episode on all these good Pokeballs. So let's see, we have 14 Great Balls, four Ultra Balls, and plenty of other ones. So let's go with the best ones first. We have this thing at one HP, so this is gonna be our best odds right here. If we can catch this thing right now, that would be so good. But no, it's gonna break out. Latios has a really low catch rate. I'm honestly thinking that even with all the balls that I have right now, this thing might be able to get away from us. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's go for another Ultra Ball. Come on, buddy. Come on, just get in one of those balls. No, we keep getting that one shake and then it breaks. It's a one shake and break Pokemon. And Toph, Toph, you're so good. You are able to resist all of these moves. We can tank its attacks for days. So Latios, just get in the ball. But no, there goes all of our Ultra Balls. All right, on to the Great Balls it is then. We have 14 of these Great Balls. Let's see if we can get them. Nope, that one's breaking out. Well, no wonder, I'm looking up the catch rate calculations on the other window over here, and apparently, at 1 HP, with the Great Ball, I have a 1.2% chance of catching Latios in this game. Alright, here goes nothing, our final Great Ball, and it's gonna break right out. Yeah, we're not catching this Latios. It, it's too hard to catch. It's way too hard to catch. Well, now that I have every other Pokeball, so I just gotta use my Net Ball and my Love Ball. Ugh. All right, well, let's switch into UA right now because this Latios is gonna kill me. And oof, we get paralyzed. Oh, wait a second, this thing is synchronized? So that's how we can paralyze the Latios. Well, I guess that was a strat I could have thought of a little earlier, but my brain is not that big. Let's go for the final love ball over here. Oh, this is totally not gonna work. This is totally not gonna work. Nope, two shakes. I was hoping that in my mind, once it started shaking, that might have been it, but no. But no. Latios used literally every single one of my Pokeballs. I came in here with a full inventory. I had, what, like 30 Pokeballs in total? I even had Ultra Balls, but no. Latios, too strong. We are not supposed to be catching legendaries this early on in the game. Oh my goodness. Failed the mythical Celebi and failed the legendary Latios. I am so upset right now. At least Sokka's gained level 20. Yay! Well, that's definitely annoying. Let's go back to the town. And you know what? You know what? Since we failed that encounter, I'm tired of failing encounters. I'm giving myself a consolation prize. We're gonna take this guy's Pokemon. He wants me to deliver something to Route 31, but no. Oh, wait, we need to make room on the party. Let's go see what it is. All right, Zaheer, I'm gonna put you away for just a moment. And let's go ahead and talk to this guy again. Now, I guess technically this doesn't count as an encounter because we're supposed to deliver this Pokemon and we get a TM. So I could take it, right? So it says we got a Spearow holding some mail, but what do we actually get? Ooh, a Bellossum! And it's holding the Grass Mail! So let's see, Stomp, Mega Kick, Seed Flare, it's got Shaman's move over there, and Power Whip. So yeah, technically since we're supposed to deliver this thing, it doesn't count as an encounter and we get to use it as long as we eventually deliver it, right? I might just hang on to it a little longer though. Alright, well now since we're totally out of Pokeballs, I think it's a good time to go ahead and fight the gym, because we need some more money and a good way to get more money is by battling trainers, which we're gonna do here in the Goldenrod Gym. Fun fact, I think everybody knows this fun fact by now, but this gym is actually shaped like a Clefairy. So let's go ahead, let's fight some of these trainers, and I swear, if any any of them have a Latios, I am going to scream. Oh, you are a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Oh, trust me, I'm not gonna be holding back either. After I used 30 Pokeballs trying to catch a lot. What is going on with the names? We glitched the names again! <laughs> what is your name? Why is it like that? And Zuko, why don't you have a fire move? So many important questions that the world will never know the answer to. Well, Haru, hopefully you could give me the answer. Oh, it's you turning. These NPCs, they're the big brain plays. And Paris went back to question, question, question mark, slash, slash, pokey. And no, no, you don't. You have a Suicune. 
Too many legendary Pokemon this episode. Too many legendaries. Stop it. We saw a Latios. Now we're seeing a Suicune. We saw a Shadow Raichu. And now we're bringing out Kenya. Which doesn't really fit the Avatar theme, but again, remember, this is just a temporary Pokemon that we're eventually, someday, we've got to deliver. But, ah, oh, we're getting confused. Well, let's see if Kenya can hit a Seed Flare through that confusion. That would be so nice. Seed Flare is such a powerful move, but no. No, Kenya's confused. It's like, why are you using me, Poketips? Why aren't you delivering me to that guy on Route 31? All right, ooh, and it has Aqua Jet too. It has those priority moves. Come on, Kenya, snap out of that confusion. Hit the Seed Flare. No, stop hurting yourself, Kenya. That's not what we're supposed to do here. Let's try it a third time. Come on, Kenya. Come on, please. Three times in a row. Is this my unluckiest episode yet? Probably. And, oh, and now we're getting critical hit right back. I'm gonna be stubborn and, oh, this is a good reminder now that we need to go buy more super potions because now we are totally out. But I'm gonna be super stubborn here and we're actually gonna go ahead and keep Kenya in here even though I could totally switch into Toph, use that spark and then hit this thing with the super effective move. No, Kenya, you gotta do something. Whoop, and I actually gotta go to the move menu. All right, thank you for finally snapping out of confusion and thank you for hitting the seed flare. Look at that animation, let's do it. Let's do it. One hit KO the Suicune. I don't think Toph could have done that. And we're, we're gonna get some boosted experience points here too, right? Cause technically, yeah, technically this isn't my Pokemon. So I think we're totally fine to use this thing. <laughs> what? You don't have two legendary Pokemon. You do not have two legendaries. Oh my goodness, this episode is stacked. This episode is stacked! There's so much going on here! This trainer has a Suicune, they have an Articuno, and a Paris too! One of those Pokémon is not like the other! Let's do them, let's bomb them with some magnets! Boom, 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 boom! Good, this is so good! And ooh, nice, Kenya's getting to level 21, and now we get to see that big bad Paris once again! <laughs> this randomizer is so unbelievably weird, you really never know what you're gonna see! Oops, is it over? Yes, it is. Now tell me, what's your actual name? All right, we gotta go heal up and we gotta go buy some potions. This is getting ridiculous. All right, all healed up, bought four super potions, so we should be ready to go. Let's go into the center, and I'm debating, how many more trainers should I fight? Well, I guess we gotta fight you. There's no question there. Give it your best shot, or I'll take you down. Oh, trust me, I'm gonna be trying. You're probably gonna be stacked with legendary Pokemon, too. What do you think? She's probably- Another glitchy beauty! Are all of their names glitched up like this? And ooh, is this finally a Pokemon that Zuko can take down by himself? I know fighting is gonna be neutral against this thing, but oh, if you're gonna go for dark type moves, we will enjoy that all day? Or will we? I don't know. Well, that was a critical hit, so we do know we can tank another critical hit if the Stonky gets another one, so that's always a good thing. And ooh, we're critting right back and getting the full HP! Let's go, Zuko! That's right, Zuko, show- No! No, don't crit me with this move. That's super effective, don't crit me- Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that did 30 damage to me. If that was a critical hit, we would have lost Zuko right there. We would have seen the end of Zuko, and I would not have been able to handle that. Losing the Latios and Zuko, and Beauty is sending out Gardevoir. Oh my gosh, all these people have such stacked teams here. Well, you know what? This was back before fairy types were a thing, so UA can totally come in and totally take out this Gardevoir. Easy peasy. Ooh, Luster Purge. Gotta do me like that with Latios' signature move right there. But you know what? We're all good. We're all good, because UA has the payback, and you're gonna go for Bide. Just biding your time while I slowly chip away at your health, or not even slowly, UA is just gonna come in there and one-shot the Gardevoir. That's how we do it, and let's get to level 16. Howl, come on, Zuko. Learn a fire-type move. You know what, honestly, they probably sell fire-type TMs over at the Goldenrod department store. Maybe after we do a few more battles in here, I might go over and buy one, but we also need to go and make sure that we have enough money that we could buy more Pokeballs, because if we can't do that, when we keep exploring, which we'll be able to do very soon, we're gonna fail more encounters, which would be terrible. We don't want to fail more encounters. But I guess the one thing that I learned now with that whole Latio situation is that with the ability Synchronize, if a Pokemon has a move that gives you a status, you could just totally switch into that, let them keep hitting you with it, and eventually you'll be able to bounce that status right back onto them. I really wish I thought about that earlier, because that might have actually changed the tide and we might have been able to catch the Latios. But again, you can't really get too upset over that. I don't think most people would have thought about that one. That's truly a big brain play right there. Ooh, Last Carry actually has a name here with Paris, again. 
so many of these things this episode. We're probably gonna see another U-turn from this thing. And no, it's got spider web. That actually kind of works for that thing. It has all those creepy crawly legs. So I could definitely see it using it. But Haru, Haru's gonna take that thing down easy peasy. I'm wondering, are we ready to go into the Whitney battle? Because, oh, you're going to target me right away. All right, I was going to talk a little bit more, but sure, we'll go ahead. You like cute Pokemon, strong Pokemon, something like that? Well, let me show you my cute and strong Pokemon, Last Kathy. Yay, again, we're seeing some names. Okay, Driplim. Yeah, no, this is not Zuko's fight at all. We need some better moves on Zuko. I'm basically just switch training Zuko with every single battle, and the one time I try using that thing against the Stunky, it nearly dies. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. Well, let's go for Payback. I honestly thought that Driplum was going to be a little bit faster than us. It's a floating balloon Pokemon, for goodness sake. But no, we're going to be a little faster than it. And oh, it's got Drill Peck. Yeah, well, it was definitely good we got Zuko out of there. And I think we just finished this thing off with a bite. We could definitely finish this thing off with a bite. Crunch it with your teeth. Ooh, yes, that Aftermath. Annoying, annoying ability does so much damage to us, but yay, Zuko's getting level 17, and Fire Fang! Yes, finally getting a fire move! Not the best fire move, but oh, it's nice to have one. So let's get rid of Karate Chop for that move. I like Rolling Kick's flinch chance, but I'm probably not going to use it because, again, it could just miss and that would be a big problem. But hey, maybe someday it'll actually be useful for us. Let's see, Pokemon number two, a Zubat. Well, we have the perfect move for that thing. Let's hit him with the extra sensory. I love the way that just, like, moves the Pokemon around whenever you use it. It looks so cool. Get that Zubat out of here. Bye-bye, Batman. And the final Pokemon, Bayonet. Ooh, have not seen that thing in a long time. Love the way it does a little dance coming into the battle. And let me see, I'm gonna be faster than that thing, right? Yes, so let's see if we can get that flinch with the bite. No, we're just getting a straight one shot. Yue, you always surprise me with the Pokemon you end up one hit KOing. I always get super, super surprised. And nice, we get Night Slash. Yes, now that's a huge upgrade over bite right there. I'm gonna miss the flinch chance, but that crit chance is a nice trade-off, plus the power increase is good. Nice, last Kathy. And with that, I guess it's time to go fight the gym leader, Whitney, but I do think I want to level up Zuko a little bit, especially now that we have a usable move on Zuko, we might as well get Zuko up to like level 20 or so, so I could use it in the battle. If we could do two episodes in a row where nobody dies, that would be fantastic, so let's see if we can make that happen. Let's go train up Zuko. Go back to this grass over here and do some training. I want to see what else we could find over here too. Buneary. That's cute. Level 14. Cricketot, the perfect Pokemon to find at night. Ooh, Quillfish. Now that's definitely a weird one. Oh, and Jolteon! That would've been so cool! I know I play with the Species Claws, but I guess if that was my encounter, I'd allow it, because it is a very different Pokemon than Yue. <laughs> and Vigoroth, that crazy little monkey guy himself. So many cool Pokemon over here. And somehow, some way, we got the one that we just straight up could not catch. Alright, there we go. Zuko's at level 20. I think we should be ready to take on the gym now, hopefully. But before we do that, I think there's like a little lottery or something that I could play up here. There's a TM, a nest ball, or a berry. How do we play that? The must try the Goldenrod Department Store. Welcome to the Daily Drawing Center. You could try it for 300 Pokey, and we have wonderful prizes. Would you like to give it a try? Yeah, I think honestly, if we get like a citrus berry, I'd be pretty happy. We've got the number two prize, the nest ball. Okay, all right. I was really hoping for the number three prize, honestly, but I'll take it. Oh, and I could buy these drinks over here. I think I'll grab a lemonade. That heals up a decent amount of HP. I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Drifloon? Want to trade it for my Crobat? Oh, <laughs> imagine if I started off with Drifloon, got up to this guy, and ended up trading it for a Crobat. That would have been a crazy scenario if you guys chose Drifloon. But here we go. Time to fight the gym leader, Whitney. This has been a wild episode, and I'm really hoping that it doesn't get extra wild with us losing to Whitney. So before we jump into this, let me see if I could give my Pokemon any items. We're definitely getting to that point in the game where we do want items to help us win. Yes, so we're gonna give the Miracle Seed. Let's give that to Kenya. I think they'll do a lot better than the male. Let's take this letter off of this thing. I should probably read it at some point too, see what it says. But let's give this thing the Miracle Seed, boost up those grass type attacks. Uh, the Custap Berry lets me go first in a pinch. I might as well give that to Zuko, because Zuko's actually kind of slow. And let's see, Rindo Berry weakens the foe's super effective grass type attacks. Well, that's got to go on Sokka, obviously. And I'll give the Luck Instance to Toph to hold. And you know what? I really should have Zaheer on the team right now, because Zaheer, it has U-Turn, which would be so good in this gym battle, but 
there's really nobody I want to replace. I like the uh, core that I have here, the fire, water, grass combo. Steel and Psychic is a good typing, Dark is a good typing, and Poison has also gives me some really good coverage. So honestly, I want to go in with this team. I think we should be able to beat her with this team. I know her Pokemon are going to be somewhere in the 20s, hopefully around like 21. Hopefully not super overleveled, so you know what? Let's just go in here and do it. Usually she's a tough gym leader. Let's try to make her easy. Hi, I'm Whitney. You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. Just now, that was last episode. Everyone was in the Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. All right, my friends, gym leader number three, we're going up against Whitney. Now, this is the one that everybody's afraid of because she has that annoying mil milk tank normally, and look at her jumping for joy, starting off with the Ambipom at level 19. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can handle a level 19 Ambipom. No problem. The one time I don't lead off with Zuko is the one time where I would like to lead off with Zuko. But you know what? Since we resist it, we're gonna- Oh my goodness, it has Bone Meringue. Oh no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it now. Stop it now. Good. Good, good, good. Stop it now. Don't ever do that again. I hate you so much, Ambipom. I don't like you. Wow. All right, we've got two choices here. I think I'll swap into Haru, because Haru, you know, with Levitate, we just are totally immune to the Boomerang, which is likely going to go for again. Yes. All right, so we completely dodged that move. And now we're back in the game. So let's go for some Poison Jab over here. It's going to go for Ring Out. That shouldn't do too much to me, right? Shouldn't do too much. Ooh. Why are you so strong? All right, so Ring Out is a really strange move. If I have more health, it does more damage to me. If I have less health, it does less damage to me. So this is honestly a mess, because there's a decent chance here if I go for an attack, it'll kill me. If I heal up with Haru, it'll do as much damage as it did last time, and I'll be in the same mess again. So I'm thinking Yue again is a very defensive Pokemon. I think even at full health, Yue can tank that move pretty well. So we're going to bring in Yue right now, and we'll see how it goes from there. So let's see, what- okay, going for a Super Potion. Ugh, I wasn't sure if she was gonna go for a Super Potion or not during this battle. That does make things a little bit more annoying. So here's what we'll do. We'll go for the Night Slash right now, hopefully get a critical hit on it. We could have also gone for Payback and did a decent amount of damage, but I think this is fine. Let's get that crit. Let's get lucky and get a crit. No, we're not gonna knock it out that way. So let's try Payback now. Payback should definitely do enough. Oh, you're swapping. Ugh, we're gonna have to deal with that thing later, and now we're gonna have to deal with the Hitmon League. Ugh, level 21 Hitmonlee, too. That's very, very annoying for us. Alright, well, we did do a decent amount of damage to that Hitmonlee, but honestly, this might seem like a dumb play. I'm thinking about staying in here because my usual counters, Toph and Haru, are both at low health, and again, UA is just such a tank that I think even if it throws a close combat at me, we're not gonna die. Alright, it's got low kick. That's gonna do... Getting me to half health. Getting me to half health. So here's the good thing about that. Now, if Whitney brings out that Ambipom again, it's gonna die. And what? How are you not dead to that move? That's actually really weird. I'm surprised it didn't die. Oh, okay, cool. It's gonna go second now. I don't know if it was a speed tie or if it was going for something to go second, but good, that worked out just fine for me. So we got rid of a very threatening Pokemon by not switching out. I was really thinking about switching out there, but I thought we could just power through it. And yes, now this thing is going to be a lot less threatening to me because its ring out move is gonna do so much less damage to me. It'll basically be irrelevant. So yeah, that's why it's going for Body Slam now, because that move wasn't going to do that much to us. And now I think UA might be able to finish this thing off with the Payback. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Okay, good job, UA. You redeemed us there. That looked like a very dangerous situation, and it would have been so easy to mess that up. But there we go. Doing well. And now we're seeing a Slowpoke. Not a Galarian Slowpoke, the regular Slowpoke. Alright, UA, you've had your fun. Let's swap you out now, and let's actually bring out Kenya over here. Let's see. Okay, this thing has Brine. Yeah, okay, that was a good switch, because Brine would have done more damage to us, because our health is pretty low. So now we should basically be able to finish this thing off. Oh, we're missing the Seed Flare, and now it's going for Facade. I don't think Facade's gonna do a lot to us, honestly. Yeah, we're good. Please hit the Seed Flare. Oh my goodness, stop that. Kenya, you gotta hit these moves. I know I'm not your trainer, but please. Please hit the Seed Flare. Thank you. Should not have taken us three turns to hit that Seed Flare. But so you better one-shot the Slowpoke for me. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm still excited how we got through that situation with UA right there. That could have been so messy. Now number four is Muck. I want to switch into Toph so badly right now, I really do. And that would be such a risky but rewarding play. Because imagine if I switch into Toph right now, it goes for a poison type move, which it's very likely to do, considering that we would probably die from a poison type move. 
but if it goes for a move of literally any other type, Toph is dead. That would be our starter Pokemon dead. Is that a risk that we want to take right now? You know what? Heart's beating fast right now, but we're gonna do it. Let's switch into Toph, and this thing better go for a poison type move. Please, Muck, please. Cross poison! Yes! Yes, we pulled that off. We pulled that off. Guys, go ahead right now and smash that like button for that insane play right there. That was the highest risk, highest reward play we could have possibly went for, and we pulled it off. So let's use our potion. It's got Dizzy Punch. As long as we don't get confused, we're golden now. We're golden. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we pulled that off. You even see right there, if it went for Dizzy Punch instead, we would have been dead. But no, we somehow, someway, pulled that craziness off. And now they're gonna hit us with the swagger. So you know what? I'm thinking we'll just ride it. We'll just ride it. Let's go. Let's use that attack boost. And Toph is gonna hit the Magnet Bomb. So let's see how much this does now to Muck. Let's see. Yeah, that does a lot more damage than Confusion was doing. And it's gonna try going for that Dizzy Punch, which what? Does seven damage to us. Six damage this time. Very nice. And if we snap out right now, we're so good. If we don't snap out... Yes, we are hitting the Magnet Bomb! I am so glad I didn't switch right now, because we're just chilling. We got that plus two attack bonus, got the critical hit, didn't really matter right there. And Kenga's getting to level 22. We could use that extra HP right now, since we can't heal. Ooh, Garchomp, the Land Shark Pokemon's coming out right now. And this is it. We might have somebody die right now. I do not want to take a super effective ground type move from that Garchomp and also potentially hit myself in confusion this turn. That would suck. So we're going to bring in Haru. Once again, we're going to try going for that Levitate, predicting that it's going to go for a ground type move. But the thing is, I think no matter what next turn, we're going to get killed. Yeah! Yeah! Think about how much that Earthquake would have done right there to top. And we do have the counter move. We have Icy Wind, but I don't think we're going to get to use it. There's no way this thing doesn't outspeed us and kill us with something else. <gasps> No, that did not just happen! It did not just go for Dragon Rush and miss! It did not just go for Dragon Rush and miss, and we're lowering its speed. We are lowering the speed, guys. Even with the speed lowered, Haru's not gonna outspeed the Garchomp, right? No. Oh. Oh, that could have been it right there. Haru could have finished off the Garchomp, but it wasn't meant to be. Haru, thank you for everything. You did so well in this battle, protecting Toph, protecting the Pokemon that were weak to those ground-type moves. Oh, that was so good. And getting that icy wind off there in the end, that will help us take down that Garchomp. Now let's see, Kenga's got the better defensive stats right now, and I know if we land the Seed Flare, we're gonna knock this thing out. So let's try going for it. Yes, we're gonna land the Seed Flare. Come on, Kenya. Destroy the Garchomp. I gave you the Miracle Seed. Give me a miracle. That's how we do it. Oh, that was such good teamwork right there. We lowered the speed with the Icy Wind, and we were able to finish it off with the Seed Flare, and now the last Pokemon is a little puppet, that tiny Shuppet. <laughs> hey, well, just one left, but I ain't losing you here. I don't know about that. Whitney, I think your time has come. Let's power whip this Shuppet. Let's get this thing out of here. One hit KO. That's how we do it. Oh my goodness, guys, that battle was insane. We could have so easily lost Toph right there, but I knew that play was going to be good in the end. I knew we had to go for that big brain play right there. After missing that big brain play earlier with the Latios, I knew we had to redeem ourselves somehow this episode, and we did it. We beat Gym Leader Whitney, and we did lose a Pokemon, but I felt like it was very necessary. Haru was crucial for us to defeat that Garchomp, so I'm glad that we had Haru on the team right there. I'm definitely going to miss Haru. And Whitney's crying right now. She's not going to give us the gym badge. Come on, we just had an insanely good battle against you, and you're not going to give me the gym badge. Oh, no. You made Whitney cry. Come on. Why is Whitney crying? Grow up, Whitney. It's just a Pokemon battle. You made one of my Pokemon die, and I'm not crying over here. <laughs> what? What do you want? A badge? Oh, right. I forgot. Here's the plane badge. Well, she sounds a little bit more cheery right now, and I'm pretty happy because we just got our third gym badge, the plane badge, which lets our Pokemon use strength outside of battle, and we also get TM45. 
It's a tract, which might actually be decent at some point in the game. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, we almost made it this whole entire episode without anybody dying, but you know how these randomizers go. So Haru, thank you so much. You were really, really helpful. I'm so glad I gave you that chance. I'm so glad I kept you on that team because if we didn't have you, I don't know how we would have taken down that Garchomp without losing even more Pokemon. Yue was at really low health. Zuko would have died instantly. Toph would have died instantly. Maybe Sokka could have came in, but Sokka wouldn't have lasted that long. And Kenya, I don't know how Kenya was going to take a Dragon Rush. So with that being said, we're going to bring Zaheer onto the team, and I think it's a perfect time now to end this episode. My friends, wow. Thank you for tuning into this episode. It was crazy. Legendary Pokemon everywhere, failing the Latios, but stealing that Belossum, which I'm probably going to keep now. And an absolutely insane third gym battle. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, do it for Haru, do it for the insane plays in this episode, and my friends, I'll be seeing you soon in the next one. Take care.